Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. It is well known that the United States, Japan and the Netherlands have reached an agreement. Although none of the three parties has made a formal announcement or even explained the agreement, each of them is taking action. Japan has decided to implement the rules on July 23rd, placing 23 items of semiconductor equipment under export control. The Netherlands also officially announced that it will release control measures for chip exports to China around the end of June, and a variety of lithography machines have been included in the control list. ASML still can't escape foreign media, the dust has settled. ASML is the world's largest lithography machine giant and the only manufacturer that can manufacture EUV lithography machines. But ASML's right to speak is not so high. When it comes to the shipment of high-end lithography machines, ASML also needs to look at the face of the United States. The United States does not allow ASML to freely ship EUV lithography machines to mainland customers, and even DUV lithography machines are also restricted. At the end of March this year, ASML disclosed the agreement between the Netherlands, Japan and the United States, and expect it to announce restrictions in the next few months. After a few months, both Japan and the Netherlands announced corresponding export control plans. In Japan, it is determined that export control rules will be implemented on July 23rd, and 23 items of semiconductor equipment such as lithography machines, etching machines, and thin film deposition will be subject to export controls. News also came from the Netherlands. According to Bloomberg, the Netherlands plans to announce export control measures at the end of June or the first week of July to further restrict the export of ASML's lithography machines. The lithography machines involved this time mainly include TwinScan NXT, 2000i, NXT, 2050i and NXT, 2100i and other DUV lithography equipment. Among the newly added lithography equipment, it can support up to 5 nanometers process. In fact, what many people don't know is that DUV lithography machines can also produce high-end chips of 7 nanometers and below just like TSMC's successful mass production of 7 nanometers using argon fluoride immersion RFI, lithography machines. However, the exposure accuracy of DUV lithography machine is not as good as that of EUV lithography machine, so multiple exposures are required, which puts forward higher requirements for process technology and cost. To be on the safe side, DUV lithography machines are commonly used in 14 nanometers and above chip manufacturing. But even so, the United States still has a hand, and if an agreement is reached with the Netherlands, the DUV lithography machines that may be used to break through high-end chips will also be restricted. Only DUV lithography machines with a lower process, can be shipped normally. ASML previously revealed that the range of shipments is TwinScan NXT, 1980Di and below. The resolution of lithography machines for this type of process is less than or equal to 38 nanometers. Although it is theoretically possible to expose wafers below 14 nanometers, it is not cost-effective if the cost is too high. If the yield rate of the manufactured products is too low, 
It will also affect the competitiveness of the company and is not conducive to word of mouth. The Netherlands officially announced that export controls will be implemented around the end of June, and the scope of restrictions has also been roughly clarified. ASML still cannot escape. Some foreign media said, the dust has settled, even though ASML has repeatedly issued warnings to the United States emphasizing that doing so will lead to disruption of the global supply chain. It has not been able to restore the United States and the Netherlands to correct their mistakes. Some people may have said that only a small part of the Netherlands has restricted shipments this time, and there are still many old devices that can continue to be shipped, which will not affect the mainland's demand for mature chip manufacturing. Having said that, it must be understood that others have blocked the way to the future and prevented China from breaking the ice in the field of high-end chip manufacturing. It is obvious that China will always be at the level of low-end chip competition and the high-end will come from Western countries. Monopoly If China wants to develop high-tech industries, it cannot avoid high-end chip manufacturing technology. Always relying on imports is not the solution to the problem. Western countries will use this as a bargaining chip to clamp down and cut off supply at any time. Getting rid of dependence on foreign lithography machines will become the only way for the rise of domestic chips. ASML is the world's leading lithography machine manufacturer. Chinese semiconductor companies need to rely on ASML imported lithography machines to produce chips. The development of the industry has brought certain constraints. In order to solve this problem, China and enterprises need to take various measures to achieve self-sufficiency in lithography machines. China needs to increase investment in research and development of lithography machines and support local companies to carry out independent research and development. It is also possible to strengthen technological innovation, promote industry-university research cooperation, and attract outstanding domestic and foreign experts and enterprises to carry out research and development of lithography machines in China. It is also possible to support the technology research and development and industrial development of local enterprises by establishing a national semiconductor industry fund. The most important thing is that Chinese semiconductor companies also need to strengthen cooperation to jointly overcome the problem of lithography machine manufacturing. Or share technology and resources through joint research and development, technology transfer, etc., to improve the technical level and manufacturing capabilities of local enterprises. Through the integration and coordination of the upstream and downstream of the industrial chain, the competitiveness of its own industrial chain can be improved, so as to achieve chip self-sufficiency. Christophe Fouquet, vice president of ASML, said that it is almost impossible for any country to decouple from others and establish a completely self-reliant chip industry. The implication is that ASML does not believe that China has the ability to achieve self-sufficiency in lithography machines. Maybe the manufacture of lithography machines is indeed very difficult, but just like China faced shield machines and satellites at the beginning, no matter how difficult the engineering operation is, as long as you don't give up, you can see hope until the final victory is achieved. If you agree with this video, please like it, welcome to forward, comment and share.